Hey, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Mosquito State. So, new horror movie, which was like a new discovery for me. I feel like I only heard about this movie like two weeks ago or something. Um, and yeah, I didn't need much to get me excited about this one. I watched like a teaser trailer that had like a lot of neon lights and it was about mosquitoes which was odd and I haven't seen anything like that so yeah I was totally on board right away so I reached out to the director who got me in touch with the person that I was dealing with the PR and whatnot and they kindly sent this one to me uh, I think it is already available for some people I think it is already out uh, but it will be on Shudder on the 26th if I'm not mistaken 26th of August so this review just is on time for you to watch it on Shudder when it comes out so yeah let's get into it so explaining this movie is going to be <laughs> difficult to say the least but I'm gonna try um, and going with what it says on Letterboxd this movie is about a data analyst that starts noticing stuff going wrong on his computer models and at the same time a bunch of mosquitoes start like breeding in his apartment which starts like messing with his mind and yeah i think that's it um it's it, it's it's something this movie stars bo knapp charlotte vega jack kesey and oliver martinez um the main two actors like the actor and the actress i think i know them and I definitely know him and I think I know him from a movie called No One Lives I think that's how you say it, which is a, a horror movie with Luke Evans it's like one of those movies that it's kind of laughable but it's interesting at the same time I recently uh, rewatched it and yeah so they're not like big names but they have been in a, a few movies and I think she's in the new wrong turn if I'm not mistaken I haven't seen it yet but yeah I guess that's it and let's get into my thoughts so the reason why I said this movie was difficult to explain is because I was so confused during the whole movie like I was just like what the fuck what, what did I just watch and that is not a good thing like I'm all about the mindfuck type of movie. I like to be confused and I like those movies where the plot is way too complicated that you have to go research and just like try to understand the plot. But this is not it. Like not only I was so confused, like nothing really made sense to me, but I was also like really bored. It's such a shame because the movie is stunning, like visually it's so beautiful, you know. I love the neon light vibes and this movie is full of them. There's a lot of pinks and reds and it's it's really beautiful. It has amazing camera work, some like really interesting shots. Um, I also really liked the acting, the actors were good and the score, it's that score that just adds the creepy vibes and technically the movie is great but the story just didn't do for me like I was pretty excited about it because it's a concept that I haven't seen before but after watching it I compared this to The Fly so you have an idea where this goes but until it gets there it just takes way too long and again i know this is a preference thing i'm not really into slow burns but yeah it's way too slow it's like boring and i think it's like one of those cases where the visuals just 
overpower the actual story it's just a pretty packaging with nothing inside and i'm sure there's uh like a meaning behind the movie uh i've seen people say that like the message is pretty strong but i didn't get it uh i'm sorry if you've watched the movie and you know what it is about or what it is trying to say please tell me in the comments because i didn't get it and maybe with your explanation i revisit it and uh maybe i'll get it on a second watch i don't know as of now i don't feel like re-watching it because i was so bored it is a vibey movie uh i again i love the visuals and i could just put it on for that but not to be really engaged because i wasn't i was pretty bored so yeah this one was not for me Post that, let's get into my scores. I guess you were already expecting this, but overall I give the movie a 2 out of 5. I almost gave it a 2.5, but as I was just thinking about the movie and how I felt watching it, yeah, I just was not into it at all and yeah, it's a shame because I loved it visually. Which leads me to the cinematography, which I give it a 4 out of 5. As I said, it's beautiful. It has all the elements that I love, apart from the slow burn, which gets, it is more like in the story-wise. It's not really the cinematography. So yeah, it has pretty visuals, good acting, amazing score. No, but the story, it's just a no for me. And originality, I give it a two and a half out of five because I feel like the concept or the main thing that it's about mosquitoes, it's interesting, it hasn't been done, but it leads to something that we have seen before. So yeah, I think it could have been done better. So yeah, guys, uh, this is my review of Mosquito State. Unfortunately, this wasn't for me. I really wanted to like this one because it had like all the things that I love. But it has one thing that I don't like, which is the slow burn aspect. And sometimes I can uh, look past it. Sometimes the story is still engaging, but not this one. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you've watched it or if you're going to watch it. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know what you thought. And if you have like a different perspective on it, uh, if you got something out of it, let me know. Like, please explain the movie to me because I didn't get it. And yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!